what's up? Coach Brian here at CriticalBench.com, certified strength coach, and I'm answering a couple of questions that came in from some of our viewers on uh, a video titled, Plank Exercises for Men and Women, Erase Belly Fat and Get Ripped Abs. So this video was just, I talked about a whole bunch of different types of planks to help uh, expedite the process of losing belly fat. Now we know that you can't spot reduce, but if you're doing types of plank exercises, plank type of workouts, you will lose belly fat because it is exercise and you lose weight when you exercise. And when you get rid of some weight on your body, you're definitely gonna start seeing some muscle and you uh, incorporate some core training, you're gonna get some six packs that are, that are just gonna pop out. So anyways, long story short, we had two questions come in. Uh, one from Gary B 10 you asked the question, what are the recommended times, reps, and sets for the planks? For stationary planks, is there a certain time to do them? And for the planks that involve movement, are there specific reps and sets? Awesome question, Gary, and I apologize that I didn't include that in the original video. Uh, but for the recommended times, reps, and sets, it's pretty much up to you. Uh, if you're a beginner, I would start on the lower end of everything, obviously. Uh, so let's say for times, I would start maybe 15 seconds. Now, if you're advanced, you can go all the way up to a minute, 90 seconds. Uh, but usually once you start going past a minute, that's when you're kind of more advanced in the movement. So you need to transition into something a little more challenging. So for the reps and sets, uh, reps, we'll talk about that in a second. Sets, I would say at least two to three sets. Usually the first set is a warm up and you're trying to, just trying to figure out the movement. So I don't technically call that a, a set. That's more of a warm up. So let's say you do one warm up set and two real sets. There's your three sets. You can all go all the way up to five sets, even 10 sets. Uh, so 10 sets of 30 seconds or whatever it is. Um, the sky's the limit, be as creative as possible, but I would say no less than three, uh, three sets and no less than 15 seconds. Now, obviously, if, if you can't even do five seconds, work your way up to getting at least 15 seconds. So for the stationary planks, certain time to do them, 15 to 60 seconds, that's what you need to be doing. Go until you start uh, shaking a lot and um, even if you look in the mirror and you kind of see your hips dropping down or you're just feeling like it's too much of a struggle, that's when you stop. Uh, the planks involve movement, are there specific reps and sets? Reps, I would say 10 reps, 15, 20 reps, uh, 30 reps for more endurance, you know, more time under tension. Uh, but again, it's just completely up to you. Uh, for beginners, you might need to only start with five reps. Some of these exercises are, are not easy, so even if you are advanced, Five reps might be all you can do until you start progressing more and more. But I would cap it at uh, 20 reps. You don't, no need to do anything more than that. Um, so great question, Gary. Hopefully that answered for you. Second question that came in is from Ryan Andrews. His question was, is this good for people that weigh 150 pounds? Of course. Any type of plank at, at any age, at any weight is going to be beneficial to you. I'm about 170 pounds and I use planks. They're very beneficial to me. They're very challenging. And I know people that are 300 pounds doing planks. I, I even know kids that are doing planks in gymnastics and karate classes. And they only weigh 60 pounds. So planks are good for people at any, uh, at any weight. And now the thing is, the cool thing about planks is that heavier people, you know, 200, 300 pound people, they can do planks, but just modified. And they're actually what's encouraged by uh, most professionals and even doctors saying that's gonna be the best type of core workout that you're gonna be doing, because it takes stress off the spine. So Ryan, hopefully that answered your question. Now, if uh, anybody else has a question out there, post it now. I will get to it as soon as we can, and uh, we'll give you some, uh, hopefully some constructive feedback and let you know what you need to do to, uh, to answer those questions for you. And before you take off and go and check out our other videos there, uh, click this box here. It's a report that we wrote just for you. It's called the five best core killer exercises. Click this box, give us your email, and we'll send you a copy of the report right away. If you can't click because you're on a mobile device, what you need to do is click the little arrow that's under this video here. That's going to open up our video description area. You'll see a link there, criticalbench.com slash core killers. Click that, give us your email, and we'll send you a copy of it right, right away. Uh, appreciate you watching, and we know we uh, have something else um, that you might find beneficial in one of our videos. So subscribe to our channel, check out our, all of our other videos uh, that I know you'll find helpful. Again, like us, share us, and uh, feedback. Love to interact with you all. Uh, we also take suggestions for upcoming videos, so post that too if you got one that you want us to cover. Thanks for watching. See you soon.